Next, the N2 call. This is uh, pretty cool. This is an uh, add on of this plane. Let me show you. It is a classic, so if, if one of these days you feel like you want to slow down and fly a mission at 80 knots with your hair on fire, this is your plane. Okay, so how you install this? So you just go here, how to, pretty simple stuff, installation of the N, AN2. In this mission folder, you'll see a folder, Falcon 4, so there it is, Falcon 4. Inside, you'll find a campaign folder. Copy that campaign folder, paste that campaign folder into your free Falcon 5 root folder. So let's go here, go to your Falcon 4 folder. This campaign folder, he wants you to copy the whole folder. I just went one step beyond that and grabbed everything. So I just copy here and just go back and the campaign folders right here so he wants you to paste it right here but I want them in my tactical engagement folder so right next to my basic landing takeoff and all that so I'm just gonna paste them here so I already have them I just find a white spot paste copy per place but you just save them in there and they should be around here somewhere there they are okay. <clears throat> so that's that let's go back to our extra folders and to cold missions and also we have a brief description of the mission right there the first one is the end to basic practice your ramsar blah 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 uh, it has four or five of them so here you can have a brief description of the mission but also, let's go into the game, and I'll show you how they look in the game. Okay, so you know how to launch the game, I hope. Just um, double-click on the icon to launch the game. Once you're in there, um, go to your tactical engagement, go to save folder. You can see the first basic, AN2 basic. The mobile, pick up infantry as step four number two. Uh, enable combat autopilot just to test your autopilot uh, N2 mobile again and then search and rescue mission it would be pretty cool it says here that you can pick up a pilot and steer port to and rescue him so that will be cool to find out how that works so let's just go to the basic mission commit and that's the plane you're gonna fly and take off you know how this works so just gonna fast forward this and here we are this is your 2D view cockpit. You have a 3D view, it's pretty cool. You have a dude there. Uh, you notice he moves your head when you move. So if you want to see his face, you have to disengage your track IR and do it with your mouse. That's his face. Pretty happy fella. Anyway, this is your 3D view. You can uh, turn your lights on. Fan looks pretty cool. The propeller shows effects of speed. Your speed effects. And this is how it looks outside. It's a very, very old plane. It's kind of cool. There's a propeller again. Lights. All right, let's go back inside. And all this, some of them is clickable, like just the regular F-16. This is your Valium and all that. I might make a tutorial after this. <coughs> this is your pilot view. You can play with all this if you want to. Turn it on, turn it off, range. Freeze it. Oh, they good stuff. This works too. Steer point two. Briefing the map. But it has an extra thing. Once uh, you're here, to make it appear, you hit number two to make it disappear. Number eight. So I'm just basically hitting the extended keyboard number two to make it appear. And you can click here and make this appear if you want to wrap start right there. 
and some more information to make it disappear just number eight and let's go back out of here also once you're in this view you can pan up and have this extra view of your cockpit here with your right MFD all messed up I don't know why and if you go up and then left you get a picture of this girl on the left so you just go back and there is another picture of another girl up here just for uh, inspirational purposes I guess and left, right, go back out of there and I think those are all the views if you want to go back inside the cabin in the back where the cabin is have this huge MFD here and I don't know if this is clickable oh, turn it on and off, like, oh there you go that one these are not changing there here you have to handle your very big DED you can reset it you can change it so basically these are the controls for the DED and on off reset it back to neutral have this, I don't know what that is, just you can come play with that if you want to. You can pan and just pan in left to see inside the cabin. To go back inside the cockpit, you have to hit number eight on the standard keyboard to go back in. And if you have a track IR, you can look inside the cabin just by doing that. But it doesn't work if you don't have track IR. If you just move your mouse gonna be there that's what you can do and that's it folks that's the end to call if you want to taxi out just engage the nose wheel here we go it's gonna turn here And there's your N2 cold. Okay, now let's uh, check out the skin. So just get out of this folder and go to the N2 scan folder. And it has three the neutral, the red, and the US. So let's just display the help. Very simple, just choose the skin you want and copy and paste the two DDS files 1107 and 1108 into your Free Falcon Tor Data Objects Korea Object folder. So let's go back in here and go to the first one. Here they are. So basically, you just copy and go back to your third data folder. Go to objects, Korea object, and bam, find a spot and paste them. It was a copy and replace because there's already two files in there with some other skin. So I already have my one down, so just let's go check them out. So launch the game and I'm just gonna show you real quick how they look. So this is the neutral. This is the red skin with the T-Rex. This is just a standard red skin and 